how long have you done this? And you do this every year? I just, I've done this every done? year for the last 20 years. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Now, how important, so a lot of people look at this now, some people know about vision boards, and some people might never have come across a vision board. Um, what is a vision board, and why is it important to do a vision board if you want to visualize? Well, you know, the most important thing is, is that, you know, the brain is unidirectional, right? Mm. You know, you can't, you can't see good and bad at the same time you see good or you see bad. But most people spend their lives thinking about what they don't want. I don't want to work for my boss. I don't want to be in this company anymore. I don't want to be with this girl anymore. I don't want to be with this guy anymore, whatever. But the brain doesn't know the difference between I don't want or I want. True. It just knows just boss, it. girlfriend, job. And that's why you're still in those things 10 mm. years later, miserable as sin. True. So the real key is, is to snap off from what you don't want and focus on what you do want. You know, in fact, give yourself kind of a you know, hall pass mm. in a way to say, well, look, there's all this stuff I'm not really happy about, but let's just put that in the icebox for a minute. Mm. And let's just really just focus on what I do mm. want. And so the idea of a vision board is to, is to focus the things mm. and to bring to life some of the things that you want to do more of. So now, how mind blowing is it for you to pick up on 2017 board, 2016 board, 2015 board, and see things that you visualize come to life. It's sick. I mean, people don't understand this because yeah. I do this a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been doing it for years uh -huh. now. Yeah. But it's something that when you explain to a lot of people, people they don't just, get it. They don't get it. Do you know the what? Thing in is, my gym downstairs, where I showed you earlier on, right. I should have showed you. There's a little cupboard there with like right. a drinks fridge and so on in there. Mm. And there's one of these vision boards, right? And at the time, I was thinking about building this house, mm. right? And so I cut out some pictures from a developer called Royalton who built my next door neighbor's house. All right. And the picture I cut out, which is effectively the house looks like pretty much identical, same kind of face, same kind yeah. of look and feel, right? Yeah. You know, this kind of like, these kind of super mansion look, right? And the property on the top left of my poster is my next door neighbor's house. That's crazy. And I've never even met him. That is crazy. And it's downstairs in my gym That's right crazy. now. Yeah, I'll show it to you, you should see it. That's it's crazy. Just, it's just like, and I look at all of the things on that board and I go, every single one of those things happened. So what does that what does that say about? Um, I'm a great believer of we have been. Let's put this down. Uh, you know, life life teach, teaches you about the body. Yeah. You go to human biology class, you learn about the body, but you're not taught about your soul. The mind the mind is there to be programmed. You can do whatever you want. You don't talk about your soul, and and visualization connects with the soul to to do a lot of work. It's, it's pretty yeah. much like Google. You put your stuff in the search yeah. engine and he goes right. out there and literally gets things mm. and makes things happen yeah. Yeah. and things come to life. And it's so much more powerful than we know. It's as powerful as possible. And the thing is, yeah. it's, it's completely crazy that every single person who's achieved any greatness in, in history, from Napoleon Hill to you know anybody in history, right. has had an element of visualization. Yeah. Um, just for the viewers out there, can you explain how um, someone can actually watch this today and, and, and decide to go home, or maybe they're home right now, yeah. um, start your yeah, vision board, start visualizing, and how to make something that's inside come to reality. Yeah, so the first few steps, whenever you're setting a goal, I think the biggest mistake people make is that they make the first few steps really hard. They have to be like big things, and I say don't do that. Make the first few steps really easy. In fact, make them playful. Because if you make it too stressful, we get approach avoidance to these things, and then we don't feel we can move forward. We, we, you know, we really put too much emphasis on the end game rather than making the process fun. Mm. And the process should simply be go to, you know, go to news agents, go buy 10 of your favorite magazines. You know, if you're a guy or a girl and you like high tech and you like fast cars and you like beautiful villas. And you know what was really, and you'll notice with mine, what I do a lot of look. This is me when I, when I launched my South African success summit with Richard Branson. Amazing. Now I want to do more, a few projects with him because he's mm. just a cool person to be Amazing around. Amazing person, yeah. He's difficult to get time with. So mm. I'm like, well, I've got a picture of me and him together. This is me interviewing him on stage. Mm. I need to do a bit more with him. So mm. boom, on that goes, right? Mm -hmm. This is me and Tony Robbins backstage, oh, right? Tony. When we first you know, did the deal together yeah. and we yeah. started speaking together. Let's get out on stage, mm. boom. You know, so I, 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 I put all these things that I want to see happen and then I stick photos of me in it. Mm. So it's kind of like making it happen. Yeah. And it's kind of a fun and playful way. And I'm like, look, if none of it happens, I made a nice pretty poster and I had a good time. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It's but, better than but, sitting there but like, 90, you know. 90 percent of the time, it all happens. All of it happens, 100% yeah. of the time. Yeah, There's yeah. no 90, yeah, it of happens. Time. It's a, you know, it, it's an ordering system to the universe. Like it Amazon, is. you just say, this is what no, I it want. No, it is, it is. And, and how, how important is disconnecting from uh, an emotional connection to the outcome? Because, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people, say, say, say for example, yeah. when we go to a search engine, 
mm. and we type, um, can I want to search for this? You, you don't really care. You know it's going to come. You, have, you literally know this is going to come. But there's a lot of people that will visualise and they have this emotional attachment to yeah. it. So every day they're like, what's happening now? Yeah. What's going on there? What's going on there? Yeah. It's like waiting for that girl to call you up. Yeah. And every, you say, is my phone working? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why, where's my yeah. phone not ringing? Yeah. And it never happens because you're, you're literally so connected to the emotional outcome. How important is it to, you know... Disconnect from that? Disconnect from that. Well, Just a, set it out there. Well, I think all human beings want two things. We all want to feel like we're enough. And we all want to be loved. True. And that's just the point. True. You know, so but who's the one person in your life that can love you like no one else? Mm. It's you. Mm. But it's true, you know, like mm. we, you know, if we fill ourselves up from the inside I see and we love mean. ourselves, I see then we, you know, we make different decisions. So mm. if we, 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 if we love ourselves enough on the inside and we give up, you know, and, you know, we give ourselves permission to love ourselves, sure. then we go into this world to give love, not to try and get it all the time. Sure. So people who are trying to collect all these trinkets to make themselves feel better is really just a... Doesn't work. Well, the problem is, it's like, you know, it's all wretched no vomit. You never get there. How do you keep that balance whereby, you know, you're like, I'm still having fun. You know, I'm, this is this is exciting. Mm. I like what I'm doing. Because essentially, that's why you do what you do. Okay. You want to make sure you're adding value to people's lives. But you want to make sure you're having fun at the same yeah. time. You make sure you, you, you're, you're having a good time whilst you're doing it. How do you keep that balance? Well, you know, if you think about, you know, why do we do anything in life? Mm. Whether it's from having sex, to doing drugs, to getting drunk, mm. to working out, whatever people do in their lives, and there, and there are vehicles to get to feelings which are negative vehicles, like doing drugs, mm. and ultimately it's gonna kill you. So there are other vehicles to get to variety or excitement or adventure that are not unhealthy. True. You know, and I think that if you look at, from a, if you look at from a humanistic point of view, we, you know, our basic, you know, they're, they're, they say there's six basic human needs, right? So certainty. If we ain't got certainty, we can't do anything. But if, you know, that's level one. Mm. You know, so we need a roof over every food on the table. You, know, you can't teach people anything. You can't teach people who are starving mm. or who are homeless. You've got to stabilize first. That's certainty. We all need to feel like there's a reason we're here and and and, and why, you know, and there's a purpose for us being here. It's not about being like overly uh, significant. This is all about you know, feeling there's a purpose for our life. And then the fifth, fourth, fifth, and sixth are more spiritual needs, which are growth, love, and connection, and of course, contribution. But if you think every, everything we do in our life, we do for how it makes us feel, True. then the game is really, well, what is the real heroin of feelings, mm. other than obviously doing heroin? Mm. But what is the real, you know, what is the quan? What's what the is the pit of it? Yeah, yeah. And it's contribution, right? Of course.